hi guys welcome to telepathic tarot where i have another collective reading apologies again if i sound hella stuffy your girl is ill but um i recently finished a paper card reading that's gonna go out soon and i was like yo i feel very inspired by one of the piles <laughs> just because i feel like i can resonate with a situation as well but anyway the topic is and this may only resonate for a select group, few, but I felt called by spirit to raise this topic. So the topic is, why did they block you? Okay, for anyone that has been blocked by that person, let's get the tea on that situation and why that went down. Okay. Spirit, ancient ancestors, ascending masters, guardian angels, divine, please tell us why the collective's person blocked them. Oh, got two jumping cards <laughs> hermit so they're very much focused on themselves <laughs> but spirit is saying they have got deep feelings for you they see you as someone that um is a potential serious romantic partner apologies if i'm quiet at points because your girl has a runny nose but we're dedicated <laughs> okay let's go and um at the bottom here and it's funny because when i started shuffling it was the devil energy but i didn't pre-shuffle before i started because i just i didn't so i was like i'm not gonna bring it up but here it is again like yeah this hold on a second what's wrong sorry about that um can't remember exactly what i was saying but yeah basically with that devil energy yeah they're being hella avoidant right now they're not really wanting to face you the connections maybe even the turmoil the conflict in the connection maybe they are dealing with triggers and emotions that are just a bit lower vibrational like they're not their best selves it's giving an energy of they're trying to really work on themselves and justice as well underneath the um devil as well as the nine of wands so yeah they are feeling like they've really been through the ringer they've experienced a lot they feel quite burdened by life and their own past experiences or they just feel like a wounded warrior especially when it comes to love they just haven't had very good experiences or maybe in this connection as well maybe there's been more kind of back and forth than there has been harmonious kind of communication and stuff like that and it could just essentially be because this person is avoidant like they just don't want to deal with it it's easier to ignore it and sweep stuff under the rug whereas you could be someone who's very assertive and you like to deal with issues and iron them out then and there because you don't like to be passive aggressive and pretend that shit's good when it's really not but either way this person has you blocked because they're simply just focusing on themselves at this time they're trying to gain some inner healing they're doing some inner reflection on themselves because it's like they've met someone who they feel on a soul level they've really connected with you've touched their soul you've triggered something within them that has made them act out in ways that they are not best proud of it's giving an energy of like they had to block you because i don't know if you just try and communicate with this person to resolve stuff or find some common ground and the energy they give you is just <laughs> it's very it's very like ego based um it's a bit toxic you know it's not of your vibration where you just want to be harmonious and peaceful like they're very combative they just i don't know you just trigger this person this connection has triggered them but regardless like there is love there they are feeling you on a deep soul level they feel like you guys were destined to meet but hey spirit is saying they're steady focused on themselves okay focusing on this connection is stressing them out like they, they don't want to do it anymore they're tired they are exhausted of the back and forth they are exhausted of things not working out between you they're over it <laughs> and i literally just had a card flip out and flip upside down and it's literally the queen of coins in reverse and the ten of pentacles no the ten of cups in reverse so i feel like this is in reference to an ex that they may have been dealing with you've got the four of ones as well someone who they thought oh this is worth investing in you got that devil energy again i feel like 
I don't know if they're entertaining an ex. I don't know if there's an ex in the background. I don't know if they have to close out a cycle with an ex. But there is something with a past person. And there you go with those with that um seven of cups which talks about having like multiple options and decisions and it's like some of those options can be illusions they can sometimes not be in your best interest and with this page of cups it's like this person <laughs> they feel like they're kind of naive sometimes or they definitely feel like they owe you an apology but there is something about their past that is seeping through that they feel like they need to heal they feel like they need to close out because they are they're acting out they're projecting it onto you and you do not deserve that and i feel like in the same essence they are not communicating this they're not communicating that they fell in love over like they just fell head over heels for somebody and the person they fell for was it was a facade with that queen of pentacles coming up in reverse it's really just giving like they were trying to be like oh they're nurturing they're harmonious they're grounded they're about their business their money and their wealth and no it's more of like what is that word people who just try to connect and socialize with others because they want to gain something from the situation it's really like that person or your person was projecting their ex's energy onto you and that's why they had to step away from you and just kind of block you out and move away because it's given the energy of you deserve better you really do deserve better and maybe they i don't know maybe they feel like they are kind of a distraction from you sampling your options out there because you have many soulmates you have many suitors and admirers who would love to connect with you and maybe this person legit feels like if they, I mean, I'm not saying that you're sitting around waiting for them, but if they don't do something very drastic that makes you go, oh, they're kind of a douche, <laughs> like, you're gonna not essentially hold a flame for them, but because the connection could be deep, you know, you're gonna have, like, that little percentage of hope that things could come through. So, um, yeah, it's really giving an energy of this person just kind of blocks you out because they know you deserve better, they feel like you deserve better, and they realize they have a lot of their own work to do on themselves because, I don't know, I feel like they have entertained a lot of people, and it's just been people who haven't really been their vibration match, if that makes sense. It's been a lot of illusions. Oh my god, yes. That's why that energy had to come out in reverse. It's like this person connects and romanticizes with people and really falls for them hard, really gives themselves wholly to the connection, only to find out that these people are lying and deceiving them to gain their own kind of agenda out of it and i'll give you an example from my situation i only tell you guys my experiences because maybe you can relate like i was during speaking to someone i was dealing with i was just trying to be like yo let, let's keep it real like you were using me for sexual advances let's just keep it real because you were trying to manipulate the fact that i had an emotional attachment to you and use that as your sexual advantage and they wanted to be like oh no you're trying to push your agenda it isn't like that but they had previously said that before they even suggested not pursuing anything long term they and just like fucking on the side they already knew that they didn't see me as long-term potential and i'm like you've just basically said that you knew that you didn't want to invest in it long term and you literally just wanted to use me sexually so i don't know how you're trying to be like oh you're trying to push a narrative that isn't true like sir you've, you've just admitted it and it's kind of giving this energy like your person was becoming those negative people that was impacting them in the past and they were pushing that onto you and doing hurtful things that you did not deserve and that's why they've really removed themselves from your energy because yeah look at the queen of pentacles in the upright you are not to be played with your energy is not to be messed with you do not deserve the juggling treatment, the fumbling treatment, someone trying to take advantage of you, someone trying to steal from your garden. Overall, I'm just getting an energy of this person feels like they're not worthy. And that's why they have to block you. Literally, oh my god, stop playing with me. We got the five of wands. It did want to fall out in the challenge position. So um maybe this person 
doesn't want to have power struggles with you, doesn't want to have you in this competing energy for their attention, doesn't even want to have to compete for your attention as well because you yourself, you do attract a lot of admirers, but um, they still have to work on themselves, right? And sorry, I'm just, oh my God, losing my train of thought. This person is tired of the arguments, but at the same time, I don't know. It's like, that's just all the energy. That's what the energy is right now. It's just conflict, chaos, confusion, arguments, because not only is this person dealing with the conflicting, not only are they juggling the conflicting feelings they have for you, right? The way that you have triggered them, the way that you remind them of their past. And it's kind of triggering in the sense that you are different from their past because you're actually genuine, you're actually authentic. Literally the nine of cups, you're a wish fulfillment. It's like all these bad eggs they've been dealing with, the universe has finally given them the one, given them the person who was genuinely going to enrich their soul, the person they have literally prayed for, and they just fucked it about. Like, they just fucked it about by being so damn low vibrational, by juggling you, by not prioritizing you, by literally becoming the people who have hurt them and inflicting that pain onto you. This person literally had to just remove themselves from your life because they could see that you're such a good hearted, forgiving, genuine person and they low-key don't deserve that right now. They do not deserve that right now. They have to do the work on themselves, okay? And <sighs> I do feel like they're, they're tired. They are tired of arguing with you, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's, it's a confusing energy for me. This person just needs, I feel like a lot has gone on in this connection from them having their options, from you having your options, from them trying to make you compete for their affection, from them feeling like they have to even compete with your options, because at the end of the day, as much as you are a nice forgiving person, like you will go and sample your options. You have no problem doing that because what you will not stand for is disrespect. And what you will not do is compete for anyone's affection. Like you're not here for that. And you will not entertain anyone who juggles you. So it's really just given an energy of this person kind of realizes that fuck, they met their soulmate. They really fuck shit up because they just weren't treating you correctly. They weren't treating you right. And um, yeah, that's why they blocked you because you deserve better. <laughs> As cliche as it sounds, you literally deserve better. This person just isn't in the mental space to have a healthy connection with you. And they, oh, I don't know how to explain it because I don't feel like you're the type to sit around waiting for anybody, but they just don't want to be a distraction to you. They just want to take themselves out of the race and... I feel like this person is pretty much focused on themselves. If they're messing about with karmics, don't even stress because at the end of the day, like there's a lesson there that they have to learn. It is what it is, but um, yeah. Hold on a second, I see a message from work. Okay, I can read that later, sorry. Okay, I wanna see how is this person feeling towards you right now? How are they feeling towards you right now at this moment? Like, they blocked you, it is what it is, but how are they feeling towards you right now? And I got two, I literally only wanted one. The Nightmare, that's interesting. The Chariot, that's interesting. The Nightmare. Oh my god, the booklet is all the way upstairs. I'm not even gonna lie, let me go get it, because that is new. I've never seen, I've, I've seen Deja Vu, and I haven't seen The Nightmare. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> I am so annoyed that I literally walked off. <laughs> I literally walked upstairs. So, um, yeah, basically, it's like fizz and anxiety. <laughs> that's fucking crazy i just oh my god this person's being very pessimistic is what um is telling me they feel like loving you is like a dream but it's also a nightmare because they're scared of like how things can just end up how the past ended 
But um, I feel like they do want successful change. They do want a victory with you. They do want to come in and charge towards you. But at the same time, they're in a pessimistic, negative energy. They're looking at this connection like it's too good to be true. Things can't really work out. But um, they're, with this King of Swords, like they are up in their head about you. We've literally got trip, <laughs> like they're tripping over you, okay? That's how they feel, they're tripping over you. They're in their head about you. They wanna connect and talk to you, but they realize that they have a lot of work to do because it's just given an energy of not really knowing how to receive unconditional love and love correctly. I don't wanna say they struggle to love themselves, but hey. Okay, let's get back to it. Energy. I feel like with energy, again, with that hermit card as well, it's like they had to block you to focus on themselves. I don't know if this person felt like they were very balanced and very whole within themselves because, I don't know, they connect with people, they move on from the connection and life is hunky-dory, like they're not stressing over that situation. But with you, they are heavy in their thoughts about what went wrong, what could have went better, like you just have them, the turmoil is just churning and going, like the gears are grinding, right? So it's kind of giving the energy like they had to block you out because they wanted a peace of mind, they wanted to quieten things, they wanted to rejuvenate their energy, they wanted to get their power back, they wanted to feel balanced and whole and they're very much working on themselves, they're trying to find their own joy, they're trying to find their own happiness, I don't know if in some ways they were codependent and that's what was kind of forcing them to act out in negative ways towards you but uh yeah with that energy it's like the reason they blocked you is because they're literally just focused on themselves you have triggered something within them where they realize they have a lot of healing to do they realize that their past is having a bigger effect on them than they initially thought and i want to say they're doing the work <laughs> divine guidance yeah they feel like they were divinely guided to just as painful as it may be to be blocked by them, they just feel like it was divinely guided for them to be like, I just, I need to block you off and I need to focus on myself. Literally, endings. They feel like spirit was intuitively nudging them to do this because this was the only way they were gonna stay focused on themselves. And you know what? It may not even just be like blocking you to get away from you. It could literally be if they block you, they're not going to feel tempted to check up on you and see what you're doing and stress about who you're spending your time with. They're literally going to focus on themselves and the healing that they need to do, okay? They definitely see you as the star. They definitely feel inspired. They feel hopeful about the future. If it's not with you, they just feel hopeful about the fact that they're going to become a better version of themselves because I feel like you have taught them a lot of lessons. And yeah, they are working on closing certain cycles, healing certain trauma. Oh my God, angel is about to play. So yeah, they definitely see you as a star. They definitely see you as an earth angel, but they're cl closing certain cycles because they're feeling excited about whatever the new beginnings have in store for them in the essence of, because they know they're gonna be a better version of themselves. They're gonna be more stable. They're gonna be more emotionally imbalanced, more emotionally mature. And I feel like they're grateful for that. It's kind of bittersweet that this is how it has to be, but hey, spirit, <laughs> spirit. So we have, let's move this over. We have action and relationships. Definitely reaffirming for me that, hey, they had to block you out because there are certain relationships that they need to remove out of their life because they feel like it's more burdensome than it is adding to them. And on top of that, I feel like they wanna take action towards you. It's like they had to block you. They have to work on themselves because they may in fact, oh my God, my nose. They may in fact want to take action towards you but with this caution card, like spirit is saying, not now. 
<laughs> they have a journey with that labyrinth. They have a journey within themselves, within the depths of their emotions, their thoughts, their feelings, their traumas, their anxieties, their fears, their egos. They are going through a serious metamorphosis right now. They are really transforming. They are really transmuting energy. And they're taking the necessary steps to really invest in themselves so they can build better relationships in the future, okay? That's why they had to block you because they hope that divine orchestration will bring you guys back together and, you know, they can really invest in building this relationship with you. But hey, they're very much focused on themselves at this time. That's what they feel like spirit wants them to do, to just stay steady focused on their own journey. So let's see what this deck wants to say. <laughs> Destruction. Okay. So we have, yeah, they feel like they were losing themselves in this connection. They were being, what did we say with that term oil? You have them all twisted up in their head and their emotions, okay? You trigger them where they are toxic towards you. They had to block you because the situation was literally destructive, okay? They didn't want it to become to a point where you guys could not repair anything because I feel like I don't know, it's just given an energy of when you talk to this person, they're not really thinking about what they're saying. And they're saying things that when they later reflect on it, they actually really regret the impact that it could have had on you because it could really cause like destruction, detrimental change that is an upheaval for them that they're going to struggle to heal and fix, okay? So um, yeah, it's just like there was more pain then there was pleasure in the situation and that's why they had to walk away because what have we been saying? They have unhealed trauma that they need to heal and work on, that they need to reflect on because they realize the reason that they are being so destructive and chaotic is because you are triggering them, okay? And at the end of the day, you are an angel. You do not deserve anyone treating you that way because you're not being negative to this person you're literally just trying to love them you're literally just trying to motivate them to become oh my god this flipped over as well hold on a second you're literally just trying to motivate them to become a better version of themselves and yeah they're just literally i mean they realize it now because they've walked away from you but um yeah <laughs> it just is what it is isn't it so we have undecided okay yeah they just they couldn't make the right decisions because they were just so confused about their emotions they were so confused with how they were feeling the reason that they had to block you was because they were just tired of the mixed messages and the mixed signals they were giving you they were tired of the back and forth that you guys were having they were tired of the fact that Maybe you were losing respect for them because they were not being assertive or they didn't even know what they wanted in life. And you're like, how are you coming into my energy and you don't even know what you want? So of course you're going to waste my time if you don't know what you want. So yeah, this person really has to sit with themselves to clear up any confusion that they may be experiencing. So it says, wouldn't take her home to your parents. And that's interesting. Give me a second. I don't even know where to begin with this card, but um, let, let's sit with it for a bit. Let's sit with it again for a bit. I don't know if this is, I feel like this is in reference to um, their past. I don't know why, it's given this energy that they want to project onto you. And this is, again, their toxic behavior. It's like they want to project onto you that you are not good enough. Like, Spirit said this person is hella undecided, right? They don't know what the fuck they want, but they want to project onto you that, oh, you're not worth investing in. You're not good enough for me to take home to my parents. You're not this, you're not that, because that's all they're used to dealing with. So, of course, they're going to project that onto you. But, hey, I feel like that could be another destructive, toxic behavior that they're also reflecting on. Like, why did you, why did they make you feel like you weren't worth, like, a long-term investment or they wouldn't be proud to take you home 
to their parents because at the end of the day we literally said you are the star so it's cap it's literally cap this person has the confusion for me and this is why you could be confused because they're saying things about you in this situation that does not really resonate to your character or how you feel but hey <laughs> that is the picture that they have put forward right um yeah it's like i feel like they don't know how to balance their emotions with their sexual desires for you it's like they had to move away and block you because they're not coming towards you like the action they're taking it's not the right action <laughs> okay <laughs> it's um toxic in the sense of and it's literally what i just said how i was like my ex was like scrap the relationship and let's just fuck and i was like ew <laughs> no so it's literally that energy of like someone just looking at you like a warm body someone that you could they can just sleep with and have their fun with because hey you're like the rest of the girls that they've dated that they wouldn't bother bringing home to their parents but they're having the realization that oh they should have treated you more than just a plaything. they should have really tamed their sexual desires or their sexual urges towards you because now you're just kind of looking at them like all they really are is a fuck boy all they really are is a player and they don't have anything stable to give to you so oh that came out too quickly so yeah they're working on taming their um I don't know, it's just, if they do want to take action towards you, they want to do it differently, okay? They want to show up in a more mature way. They don't want to just come off of, oh, yeah, I just want to shag you, you know? Because <laughs> they know that energy just turns you off. You're not interested in that. But even, even the fact that, like, they've got you blocked and they're not interacting with you right now, just know that they are desiring you on a deep level it is taking a lot with that action and lust falling on top of each other for me it's really taking a lot for them to stay away from you it's really taking a lot from them to keep you unblocked because baby you are the one that they want but they can't have right now because they're in that destructive energy that they need to heal so we have highly secretive and can easily feel overwhelmed yeah this person's not being honest about what's truly going on with them because they're afraid of looking inferior in your eyes they're afraid of you losing respect for them I mean, it's funny because they could be doing their player antics and you've already lost respect for them, but they would rather them be an asshole than you look at them like there's some weak underling where life has just been beating them down. It's like they don't want your pity. <laughs> They'd be dead. They do not want your pity. They'd rather think, they'd rather have you thinking they're an asshole who's heartless than them just feeling so overwhelmed with the emotions that they have for you because they have been treated badly in the past. It's like this person doesn't want to be honest about their bad experiences and how you could literally remind them of someone that they used to know where things just didn't really go too great. But what they're saying is this, they're very sensitive. When it comes to you and the connection, they are very sensitive. And what it could also represent is needed me as playing so they need you they need you right now but what it could also um represent is oh for fuck's sake she's forgotten it again she has forgotten it they're highly sensitive oh my god it was an important message as well that's gonna bug me that is gonna freaking bug me highly sensitive sorry guys <laughs> sorry guys the message is gone the message is gone so all we're gonna get is that they're just when it comes to you in the connection highly sensitive and they don't want to talk about it spirit yeah they're just they're undecided on what they should do should they come towards you should they take action <sighs> but it's definitely given an energy like having you unblocked is it's difficult for them it's difficult for them but hey <laughs> They gotta do what they gotta do because they feel like when they're in your energy, you just send them through a roller coaster of emotions and they would rather not. Like, <laughs> they would rather not deal with that. They enjoy being, okay, I don't wanna say they enjoy. They feel more comfortable being in their player, 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 player. 
oh this is a lot but we have surrendering we have no respect and we have fifth dimension so they want to compromise they want to surrender to the connection but hey because they feel like you guys are connected on a soul fifth dimension level but at the same time it's triggering it's triggering it's really giving an energy of why they have you blocked because they're just avoidant okay <laughs> they are literally avoidant not this lifetime yeah let's see what this says they are your twin flame but sadly there's a possibility that you won't end up together in this lifetime due to circumstances out of your control so it's literally just spirit saying keep doing you babe keep focusing on your new options keep moving forward don't worry about this person or why they have you blocked because it's it's all a freaking front okay it's all a front they want you they desire you they want to build with you they want to be in a relationship with you because you make them feel things that they're not comfortable with but if they spirit is saying if they are not willing to do the work if they are not willing to match your energy a spirit is finna send in someone who's going to give you everything you deserve and if you're not with your twin flame it is what it is it is what it is okay and it's, it's not your fault it's not your fault because literally highs and lows you guys have really been through it and sometimes the connection can be karmic it can be cold and distant one moment and then you know passionate and exciting the nut at the next okay but um it's talking about unhealed aspects yeah again this person has to work on whatever is triggering them whatever is forcing them to not come towards you as their authentic self okay it's like they're scared of being vulnerable i don't know they're scared of you seeing them being sensitive i don't know what it is but this person the reason they have you blocked is because they're just they're struggling to match your energy they're struggling to be who you need them to be you have them feeling hella insecure you have them feeling intimidated and spirit just literally wants you to focus on yourself because at the end of the day you have done all you can possibly do to make this work spirit is saying there is nothing else you can do spirit is saying this person is trying to put up illusions and projections that you want enough and you are enough spirit wants you to know you are enough okay and yes you're in separation okay separating from your soulmate can be painful but let your pain be a catalyst for change go deep within yourself so yeah this person is having that um awakening eureka moment where they're really just sitting with themselves they're really reflecting on how they treated you in the past and I don't want to say they're watching you because the reason that they've got you blocked is so they don't watch you. Who knows? They could have a fake social media account where they may check up on you once every month or so. Who the frick knows, right? But it's like they can sense or they can just feel or even like when you were talking to them in the past before you had blocked them before they had blocked you they could just really feel from your spirit that in the separation you have gone within yourself and you have grown and you have evolved and like they're just so confused and up in their head about how you've done that it's kind of given the energy of them thinking did you even really care about me was i even really on your radar or a priority because like you just <laughs> you're not too fussed about being separated from them you may not even be stressed about them blocking you because at the end of the day you're like fair if you're not going to give me what i truly deserve then deuces it is what it is sorry i just have to quickly log on to my work laptop <sighs> apologies guys this reading's been all over the place but i'm almost finished so um, we have breakthrough. Your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level. Believe in miracles. Let me mute this real quick. <laughs> what did we say? Okay, I know I've been like so up and down, but this is your person, okay? One minute your person's like, I can't fucking do this. I'm blocking it out. I don't want to think about them. I don't want to deal with it. I'm over it. Next minute they're like, I miss my person. I want to work on this connection. I want to transmute. I want to transform. I want to become a better version of myself. But can I do that? that can i become a better version of myself will i be enough will they accept me for the good the bad and the ugly like this is the turmoil they are having with themselves they want to come towards you and take action but at the same time they can't they're having a breakthrough moment they are transforming 
and spirit is giving us mixed signals because it's like it's like spirit is saying there is a chance that this person could you know flip you know they could change it up a bit they could do the work they could unblock you and give you the communication that they know you deserve take accountability for their bad behavior because the separation has forced them to do that self-reflection do that healing address what was forcing them to act out in ways that you know they were triggered like they they can really do it spirit wants you to know that yes miracles are real you guys potentially could end up together but they still want you to focus on yourself they still want you to go out and explore your options they don't want you to cut yourself off from people just because you have a twin flame out there who could come back to you like nah nah <laughs> that's what spirit is saying spirit is saying yeah your person can do the work and they can come towards you that's all up to them because you know how that free will be working right like that's all up to them or whatever they'll do it at the end of the day, spirit just wants you to focus on yourself, okay? They don't want you to make yourself available for this person. If this person is coming towards you, like, they should really be doing a lot of work before you even consider taking them seriously. So we have one card that flipped over in sync you just get each other perhaps you finish each other's sentences or know when what they are thinking this connection feels effortless so confirmation from that car that just drove by like when it's good between you guys shit is good okay you guys are just in sync you guys feel like you're one this feels like your other half they feel like the female or the male version of you like you can imagine life without them but damn life without them would be difficult <laughs> would be difficult it's like this person wants to come towards you they want to build with you they definitely feel how like you guys are essentially best friends you guys really get on when it's good it's freaking effortless and when it's bad it's because they're feeling triggered it's because they don't want to be disappointed by the connection it's because spirit is reaffirming that this is your twin flame and we know how those twin flame connections be right they're not easy okay they are not easy so it's like you and your twin you're just going through that moment where you're just in one of those separations okay <laughs> spirit is saying this person will probably miss you and they probably will come back but um it's really just given like they had to block you because they just they feel so triggered they feel so triggered by the love that you guys have and i feel like also when you guys are on bad terms and you talk your shit you say what's on your mind that also triggers them too they could be someone where they really don't be giving a fuck about what people say but when you have something to tell them and it's not good they don't like that they don't like that one bit it has them like low-key wanting to be a bit vindictive and you know upset you <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not laughing i'm just you know me you know me i'm awkward <laughs> that's what i do but um it says you've met your twin flame and even though it will be challenging it can create a profound and life alter altering sense of wholeness and we literally said this person thought they were whole they thought they were grounded they thought they were mature emotionally they thought they were street smarts and then you just came in and you showed them like you were just reflecting what they lacked within them and maybe they were reflecting that within you as well but you actually healed that shit okay <laughs> you actually healed that shit whereas they just wanted to take it out on you for highlighting things that they could work on on themselves without realizing that no this is a connection that is supposed to challenge us both to become a better version of ourselves oh, so i hope that made sense on why they blocked you but let's get some messages from your person and then we can close out this reading oh i love that that one just flew out oh my gosh oh my gosh okay let me see because i think we had a few that wanted to like flip over ah that's the second time we're seeing compromise am i gonna take it fine i've already decided we're taking it i just want to make sure i've got all the cards what's the bottom energy 
I want a fresh start with you. Oh my God, this is giving me Ace of Cups energy. So Spirit is reaffirming that, yeah, they miss you, they desire you, they want to build anew with you. But um, they have healing that they need to work on. So they are open to compromising with you when they do the inner work that they need to do this love definitely scares them and that's why they just had to block it out and not focus on it if i follow you i could lose everything this person is literally scared of loving you losing themselves in this connection with you and then you just turning around and being like nah this ain't for me i'm not feeling it like they are so scared of just giving themselves to this connection wholeheartedly, being completely vulnerable, opening up to you, showing you their insecurity, showing you how sensitive they can really be, just loving you as deep. I feel like this, this is what this person is hiding as well, that they are really a deep lover, okay? And they just don't want to be taken advantage of, and they just don't want to fall so hard for you, and you just break their heart. That's what they're scared about, believing that miracles are true, believing in this connection, and then just losing everything they can't deal with that what do you want it's giving an energy of they wish they could read your mind <laughs> you're very unpredictable and you're very hard to read and whereas when they interact with other people they've dated they kind of can navigate and predict where shit's gonna go in conversations or interactions with you they're stressed because it's like what do you want from me? I don't know. Do you like me? Do you hate me? I don't know. I can't read your energy. Like, I can't read your energy because you could still entertain them and talk to them from time to time. But when you have to talk to them, it's not like you're not singing their praises, right? <laughs> you're not singing their praises, but they'd be so confused because you guys have been like, I don't want to say riding because it's not like you're ride or die right now. You're not on the best of terms, but it's like you got love for them still. But you have a mentality where you can love them from afar. And if they were going to come and speak to you, like, you're not just going to be rude and disrespectful for no reason, okay? You're a very reasonable person. They're really hoping that love can overcome the situation, but it's whether or not they're willing to surrender to it, you know? And they're reaffirming that you already know intuitively how they feel about you. You already know that they are scared about this connection, even though they try to make it seem like, no, I wouldn't want to bring you home to my family and friends and to see my parents. They're like, you know it's cap, okay? Look, it's in blue because it's cap. Like... <laughs> You know the truth. It stresses them out that they can't lie to you because you just see through it as well. You're literally that high priestess energy where it's like they're wasting their time by trying to tell porky pies. Where did that card go? I literally saw it flip over with my own two eyes. I was under the impression it was an H. Okay, I really can't waste all day looking. Oh, here we go. See, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> I imagine you naked. I feel like this person, because the eight was so important to me, I feel like they also want to spend a bag on you, okay? They want to show off that when it comes to being financially prosperous and stable, they can spoil you. They can give you that princess, prince treatment that you deserve, that you require, that you desire. They don't want to lose you, literally. That's why they're like, what the fuck do you want from me? How can I make it better? Give me the answers. But spirit doesn't want you to give them the answers. They need to sit with themselves. They need to realize what they need to apologize for and what they need to take accountability for. And they need to come and make the right action towards you without you having to tell them. I don't know if you've had to really direct them and tell them a lot to resolve situations spirit is like they don't want you to do that this person's gonna have to figure it out for themselves but what they do know is they don't want to lose you it's gonna kill them if they lose you <laughs> and what girl that's what they're trying to find the balance with okay they're really trying to find the balance with the emotions and the sexual desires it's really even an energy of when they first interacted with you they were coming in hot and heavy with the sexual energy and spirit was like behave yourself behave yourself but they're desiring you that's why it's difficult for them to stay away from you because boy they want to break your back in 
you you just change their life okay that's why they're just being so immature <laughs> that's why they're just acting like a child i don't want to say they're acting like a child but literally now is not the time that's why they had to block you that's why they had to block you because i don't know i don't know i guess them blocking you as well is another way of signaling that it's just now is not the time to speak to them now is not the time to try and mend no bridges with them they recognize that you are a catalyst for them to do some kind of work on themselves they really appreciate having met you because you have changed their life in some sort of way you've opened their eyes to what a true genuine relationship can be like when you have two partners who are willing to be authentic who are willing to love wholeheartedly and they appreciate that they had the chance to experience that you know at the start it must have been amazing but obviously they didn't have the capability or the mentality to maintain a healthy relationship that's why things crumbled but it's giving an energy that despite them blocking you and not wanting to talk to you they've learned a lot from you okay they're desiring you they want to sleep with you they do love you and they want to love on you but they have work to do on themselves okay and whether or not they come forward hey it's all up to this person and whether or not they do the work so my collective there is your reading i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to like share comment subscribe join my familiar and i'll see you guys in the next one bye